Over the last year, PayPal stock has come down close to 70%. And a lot of you guys have been messaging me and asking me what I think about PayPal stock. So I actually built a model and I'll talk about my thoughts on purchasing the stock in this current environment. But first, of course, let me run that intro. What's up guys, and let's get right into this one. And so you can see here that in the last year at $97 per share, $96 per share, PayPal is down approximately or close to 70% overall. And in fact, it was actually down lower in July. It just came back up a little bit in September. And so the question is, what exactly is causing PayPal stock to come down so much? Well, you can see from their guidance that it's just a slowing consumer. So they expect net revenues to reach approximately $28 billion, which is 10% growth year over year. And that does seem good on the surface, but note that 10% growth year over year is substantially slower than where they've grown over the last four years. So growth is slowing. Now, when I forecast this business out, I'm just making a point by growing it at 10% a year for the next five years, just to show you where my valuation comes in at. And also note guys, that I am taking into account stock-based compensation because their stock-based compensation does run pretty high. And so I'm forecasting out that their stock-based compensation as a percentage of their free cash flow is gonna be around 25%. So you can see under fiscal year 2022 and beyond that the free cash flow is expected to be around $5.7 billion. But from that, I'm deducting $1.4 billion of stock-based compensation to get an effective free cash flow amount per share of $3.65. Now that grows as revenue grows. But once again, my valuation will be a lot lower than a lot of other people because I'm deducting stock-based compensation, which I feel you do have to do when you value using a free cash flow per share methodology. Now here's where my valuation lands. So using a terminal multiple, of 25 times earnings, which I think is reasonable. I mean, you could even use 30 times if you really wanted to, but I think that's a bit high. Because I'm adjusting the company's valuation for the stock-based compensation, I think I'm landing at something lower than most investors are. So I'm valuing the company at around $97 per share. So compare that to their current share price of $96 per share. I think the company's reasonably valued. And so that's kind of where I'm coming in at with my valuation. I don't think this is a cheap stock despite how much it's fallen. And I think there's additional risk that a lot of people are not taking into account. And this is what I mean by that. In May of this year, Barron's actually released an article where they're saying that a deteriorating online store traffic growth could actually impact PayPal a lot more than you expect. And this is what they mean. They believe that there is a deteriorating environment that could impact PayPal because there's consumers returning to in-store shopping, budgets are getting squeezed from higher inflation, and spending is being shifted from services like online services to more like physical goods. And so that could impact them. But the one item that they didn't talk about, and I would strongly mention is that additionally, I believe that competition is getting stronger for PayPal as well, where they're now competing with Square, Google Pay, Apple Wallet. And so I do believe that that combined with unfavorable macroeconomic conditions, and of course the shift to offline purchasing, could really impact this company. And so it's because of that competition factor, which is why I probably won't invest in PayPal. Look, there was a time for PayPal in my opinion. The time was when they didn't have a lot of competition, but now there just seems to be a lot of competition and it's hard to forecast who's gonna be the winner in this space growing forward. I think there's gonna be a lot of winners, but ultimately it's not gonna bode well for PayPal, I believe in my opinion, but I might be wrong. This is a space that I have been involved in for a long time. I've worked in this space. I have tax clients in this space as well. None of us really know what's going on. And so it's hard to forecast where this is gonna end up. And so we all tend to be very pessimistic the way we forecast it out, but we might just be jaded. That's all I'm trying to say here. But with that said, I do wanna point out to you guys that approximately 80 percent of the watch time on this channel is coming from people that aren't subscribed to the channel so please if you have an opportunity consider subscribing to the channel also if you want access to that paypal model to see how you can model out in a different way you can get access to that at the lower tier of the patreon level and if you want to join us for an epic live presentation you can join us at that upper tier now although paypal is not an opportunity that i'm seeing in this environment I am seeing other opportunities that I consider pretty strong. One of those opportunities is actually in the luxury retail space, Restoration Hardware. This is a name that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has taken a position in. It's risky to some, I like it, and you can actually get access to that full video right here.